Ooh, y'all. I might have a problem. Mm-hmm. I got to open all these and see what I got. Well, I guess I better make a start. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores, and today I have a haul of vintage Christmas items I got from American resellers that I purchased on YouTube sales, drop sales on YouTube. So I'm gonna go through and show you what I've gotten. Now there's several different uh, resellers I have here. So I will put uh, their links in uh, the description of this video. So you can go check out all their YouTube videos and Instagrams. So the Instagrams, so <laughs> I sound 90. <laughs> so let me show you what I got. So the first thing I got, I'm, oh, I love, this is what I love. Now I've got quite a few things, quite a few things here. Um, this is what the one box I've opened up. I actually got this, these things in July, Christmas in July. So this is my first lot. I don't know if this will be more than one video. Unclear, we'll have to see. So let's get started. So the first thing I got was this beautiful candy dish, little trinket dish, whatever you want to call it. And it is Holt Howard Japan. And I'll show you that. It's got like, so I put the little, little tape on to pat it so you wouldn't scratch your table. There it is. So this I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. This is from Julie at AJ's Retro and Vintage here on YouTube. So I will put a link in my description for her. I love this. I just, this is so kitschy cute. I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. And you'll see that in another video. So the next thing I got is I got this boot here and I believe I got it from Christine at Side Street Market. It could have been from Bath Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. Unclear, but I, cause I got it so long ago. <laughs> I haven't hauled it because it wasn't Christmas. So I just, but look at that. I oh, Let me just do it that way. I love this boot. There's, I think it's a handmade piece or a hobbyist piece. But look at the little candy canes on that. I have the perfect uh, vintage picks for this to put in. Floral picks. Oh, I can't wait to put it out. That's why I got it all out because I got to start putting stuff up. I have a little bit of Christmas out, as you can see. But I... I'm, that's just one thing. I haven't even, that's not even the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> I have to go into the lo loft and or attic and get it out. Right, let's carry on. So these I believe I got from Beth at Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. And I have the perfect candles for that. You can probably see them right there. These Nortaki candle holders. And there's the, whoop. Let's see, let's see the label. And... Oh, look at that pretty. I've got the holly and the candles and the bells. Identical, in very good condition. And I have the candles right there that'll fit lovely in this. Not sure where I'm going to put them, but that's yet to be determined. So, those were cute. Oh, and then I got these. These I loved. These little plastic, kitschy, cute reindeers. Merry Kitchmas. Mm -hmm. Look at his face. Well, I got two. And I got them from Michael Todd, the Cult of Vintage. So uh, he had several deer and you could pick how many you wanted. I wanted two. I thought I'd get one for me and one for Jessica, Drifty Shutterbug. So I've got these. So these, I can't wait to put these out. Then I got, okay, I got these. This was a set of three. I think it was a set of three or it was a set of three. And then I won some kind of like a, not mystery box, but like a, Christmas bag from uh, Beth at Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. And they're like hobbyist piece, but look at that. The reindeer. I love, let me hold it to where you can see it. Let me hold this guy. Here you go. So I've got three of these. Two are red and one is green. And they are ornaments. They're ceramic, maybe plaster of Paris. And I don't know if I'm going to hang these on my tree or put them in a display somewhere. I'm not sure, but I will let you know when I do. I'll let you know what I do with all this stuff. So then I have, I got this. I think I got this from Beth as well. I think this was part of like the little bag you got. This little, it's like he's a little canister. I can't open them. 
because I'm not going to try because I'm not going to open them anyway. I'm going to just display him like this. And I have this cute little shelf over here, but I, here's the thing. I was thinking, <laughs> I hadn't forgotten I bought it all, but I wasn't sure what I'd bought. So when I was putting stuff on my little shelf up here, which I will show you on a home tour, I was like, I don't have enough little tiny Christmas stuff to put up there. Well, I was wrong. I do. There's this little roly-poly Santa. He's metal again. He probably had candies or something in him. But isn't he cute, y'all? So I got him. And then I got this also from Beth. Was this tin. And I, when we get tins here, don't get me wrong, we do have tins here. Does this have glitter in it or on it? It looks kind of glittery to me. And I like a tin. And it's... <laughs> ah, here you go. It's very clean inside. And what I do for Christmas time is for gifts, like for my neighbors or my coworkers or my friends, I will make candied pecans and like little, you know, like little sweet treats. And I will put them in like a tin like this and then give them as gifts because, you know, why not? So I got that tin, which is great. Oh, then I got these. These, I think these were also from Beth. These two Santa Clauses. They are salt and pepper shakers. They are made in, they're made in China, but aren't they cute? I love them. I just like, one's looking that way, one's looking that way. Are they looking at each other? They're crossing each other. There you go. And I like these. These are going to go again in my, either my kitchen or my little shelf or even here. In this display here, because I have to sort that one out. And then I got these little snowmen. Salt and pepper shakers. I believe these were from Beth as well those guys and there's no maker's mark on them and they have the plastic stopper but aren't they cute i mean i ain't never using these for salt and pepper shakers that's never gonna happen then they're, they're it's not they're gonna be a little shelf up there a little shelf over here very cute very christmas so that's what i got so if you hang on a minute this might be quite a long video you have to just you know who just like to watch christmas so let me just go open a I got stuff, y'all. It ain't even cute how much stuff I got. So let me clear this away and come back to you with another box. All right, guys. Before I unwrap all these, and I won't unwrap them on screen because that's really loud. Um, I just want to show you that I got a few things from uh, Michelle at Newton's Cupboard and Christine at Side Street Market. Now, let me show you the box. I mean, everybody, everybody I've gotten stuff from has wrapped the stuff impeccably. So I'll show you that. That's from Michelle. She got the little package toppers. Now the ones I showed you before, I opened months ago, months ago. Those were wrapped impeccably as well. And this is uh, Christine's package, and it's wrapped so well. And then she puts like package toppers. Look at that. And um, here's some other package toppers she put. And um, I mean, it's just it's amazing. It's one be beautiful, beautiful package. Thank you, ladies. So, I also put package toppers and, like, wrap stuff like this in my packages. But it's so, you know why? It's so fun when you open it up. Even though you purchased it, you know, you're like, I know I bought it. But it's fun to get it. You're like, wow, what's going to be such a surprise every time? So, uh, let me go ahead and start opening these up so you don't have to hear all the crinkling. And I'll be right back. Okay, I've unwrapped everything and let's go through it. So, let's go through with first to show you what Michelle... I got from Michelle at Newton's Cupboard. Let me move this around here. Okay. So, I had got, I, she had these. And these are the little honeycomb decorations that you hang up. They've got the little stretchy legs. And I remember these, I remember, I remember these, I remember these as a child. But look at his little gem eyes. He is spooky. Look at him. But his, uh, the other side, he's got normal eyes. I'm kind of about the evil Santa. And I saw these and I thought, I know where I'm going to hang them. And then I realized, no, I can't hang them there. I've got to hang them somewhere where my cat can't get them. Because Lola, she sees something dangling, she's going to have it. So I think I've decided where I'm going to put them. I think I know where I can hang them and she can't jump on to get to them. So I got the perfect place. And when I do, actually, I might give one to Jessica. 
Yeah, I don't need both of them, do I? I don't be selfish. I might give one to Jessica Thrifty Shutterbug. We could both have one because we now live just down the street from each other. FYI. So <laughs> y'all need to know that information. <laughs> so but it'd be, I love these. These are like very 80s, very even 70s because I remember these as a kid. Maybe not these particular ones, but I remember the honeycomb decorations. Oh, I love them. So I kind of figured out a place where to put it. I know where I'm putting it. And when I do a house, my Christmas house tour, I'll show you. I think I'm definitely going to give one to Jessica. I don't need to have two. I, I would like to. But the problem is I have to put it in a place where someone can't get them. I'm looking at you, Lola. Mm -hmm. So then I got the... the yeah. So then she had a thing where if you, you know, she put your name in a, like, um, a little bucket and then she pulled out winners of people who got something for free, you know, because they bought from her. Or like a little prize. I got the kids album. Oh my God. The, look at, I, I like the back as well. I think the back is just, I mean, I don't know which, how, how do I display it both sides? How do I display it both sides? Because it's really, really fun. But this, when was it made? Does it say? It's got Rudolph. I don't have a record player, y'all. But let me see. Because the record's in here. And um, it just says Made in USA. It doesn't say a date anywhere. But it looks like it's from the 70s. And I just... Oops. She wrapped the record in... Oops. <laughs> I forgot the weapon in plastic so I could break it so it wouldn't get broke. Um, look at that. Isn't that fun? So I have a, like, a plate stand. I'm going to put it on. You'll, again, I'll do a holiday tour of my house, which is not that big. Basically, the decor is in two rooms and outside. So it won't be a long tour. But still, I mean, how fun is that? Or does that just scream your childhood? Oh, my God. I love, love, love that. And so, oh, and then from Michelle. Okay. So there's a story behind these, not a, not a long story, not a, not an emotional story, just a story. So I got three of these mugs, but look at that. They have a little, little rhinestone gem eye. They don't, they don't have a maker's mark, but I didn't care because cute and cute. So I've got three of them and I will try to hold up all three at the same time. There you go. And I like these because I'm doing a hot cocoa stand or hot cocoa station, which I've never, ever done in my life. I've never done one. I've never had one. But I've got my new little unit in the kitchen now. So I'm like, the perfect place for me to do a hot cocoa uh, station and a hot chocolate station. And I so want to do that. And I thought these cups would be cute in that little station. And um, yeah, so I'm the only one who drinks hot cocoa in the house. So, I only need one cup. These cups would be like for decor. Oh, I have these spoons that'll go in them. Oh, oof. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, that's what I got from uh, Michelle at Newton's cupboard. And I just, how could you not? How could you not get these? These are so cute. So, I got those. So, then for Christina's Side Street Market, I got uh, these. And these reminded me of, of my childhood, honestly. And I'm... 100 years old so you know so it's back in the day but i got this little it's the tea light you put a little tea light there and do i have a tea light present hang on i want to now this is a i think this is a multicolored one but yeah it is but how cool is that i could put that behind the i mean i just love it i mean you could put a taller candle in it, I actually have some battery operated taller, like little taller candles that I could put in that. Look at that. How fun is that? So I've got this one here and it's a metal base with in the tree. The inside this part is plastic. I didn't care though. We used to have decorations that would like this with the, the clear, the plastic, colored plastic. And then I have, not only do I have that one, but I have this one. Again, I could put like a little, I, I found these pillar plastic candles at the dollar store and they come in at different sizes. But even that, I mean, and here's the thing. Here's what you'll see when I do my house tour. Dave loves anything that lights up. Any, it doesn't care if it's cheap, 
cheerful. If it lights up, he wants it. I had to, I, which, oh, oop, oop. I'll show you that during the house tour, but he loves anything that lights up. So the fact that I could put some uh, battery operated candles behind these and put them anywhere in the house. and Because what, what he likes to do is he likes to turn all the lights out and see all the different colors and the and the Christmas lights glowing everywhere. So And I can't blame him. Who could blame him? So I love those. So I got those. And then I got two signs, like handmade signs, and they're not light. They're hefty. And they even smell like, I mean, the wood, God, you can smell that wood too, which I like. So the first one I got was this. And she, she had made these. She makes these. And it's solid wood. And, of course, where's that going to go? My hot chocolate station. So when I saw that, I got that. Um, I really do like these. <laughs> it just smells so woody. <laughs> so I got that one. And then I got this to go. So the hot cocoa will go in my hot chocolate station. And this one will probably go somewhere here in this vicinity here. Look at that. I just, I mean, I love them. And she made these. She had made these. So that's what I like. It's something that she made. She's a friend of mine. And I now have something that she handmade. So that, that really, I really do love stuff like this. It's so nice. So I've got a couple of more thick boxes to open. Just two. And I don't think there's much in either of those boxes. But boxes, the boxes. i got to open the boxes. So <laughs> anyway, I'm going to uh, stop it here so I can go open these boxes and come right back now. All right, guys, I'm back. Now, the next things I got are two actual Christmas presents from Beth at Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties, which I will be unwrapping in front of y'all. I know, crinkle, but I'm going to unwrap them in front of y'all because it's a Christmas gift. I'm going to show you this that I bought from Bloody Tragic. That's the name of the shop on Etsy. I will put a link in the description. And it is from, Mer and the person who uh, made it is Merle's World. Or if you follow Merle's Vintage Challenge on Instagram or Merle's World on Instagram, that's who made it. So I bought it from her shop, which is Bloody Tragic on Etsy. And it is, it's amazing. Oh my God. Look at that wreath, y'all. It's a vintage wreath. She used like vintage crepe paper and a little like lantern. Look at that little lantern. And she's got, I mean, it's all like a little vintage coaster and a little bottle of the deer. We have a bottle brush tree and we have just like a little vintage floral pick. I mean, look at that. I know exactly where I'm putting this now. How to hang it. I don't know. I, this came with it. There's a little bit of string. So I don't know if I should use this string to hang it because I kind of know where I want to hang it. And I want to hang it I know exactly where I want to hang it. I know exactly where it's going. I know exactly where it's going, what it's going to do, how it's going to live its life here. But look at that. Oh, it's got the little, oh, look, it's got a little vintage uh, Christmas cracker. And I just look at the little mass. Uh, <laughs> isn't it good, y'all? I just love it. I love this. So I will put a link uh, to her Etsy shop in uh, the description of this video because y'all, this I think she might have a few left. She don't got many left because they were selling like hotcakes. I got this and I just love all the little garland and the, oh, it's just too much. It's absolutely wonderful. Oh my God. I'm just so pleased. <laughs> so I know exactly where I'm hanging that up there. I gotta figure out how to hang it though. I might need a longer day. I don't know. That'll be a Dave thing. You'll have to figure that out. So that's, I mean, that great. I just, it's so tacky. It's so trash, it's so kitchmas. So I love that. So that is, oh, even up here, look at the little, y'all, I just loved it. Um, oh my God, thank you so much. Marl, you did a fabulous job. Okay, so the net last two things are a Christmas present from, for me, from Beth, at uh, from Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. I'm gonna open it now live on air now i'll try to be as quick as possible or as not as loud um i do know it's glass that's you to tell me
Girl, let, let me reopen the other piece before I show y'all. Uh, I'm going to cry. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. But she don't cry. She got me a fairy lamp. <laughs> she... <laughs> An amber fairy lamp. Am I in love? A little bit. Yeah. Y'all, that's girl. I'm I'm about to cry. I'm not gonna cry. She did give me a card, but it's between us two. Sorry, I'm not reading it out. Um, give me a little Christmas card. I'll show you that. But I love Amber. I love Autumn. This does it bring me joy? Yes, it does. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I uh, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. All right, y'all. That is my haul, my Christmas haul, my vintage Christmas haul, and my fairy lamp. That's my Christmas gift. Yes. Um, thank you so much, girl. You, you just, I mean, I seriously want to cry. <laughs> I just can't believe you sent me a fairy lamp. Oh, my God. Um, that's my haul, y'all. Uh, please look in the description for all the uh, resellers that I have talked about here, all the resellers I've uh, bought from, because they have a lot of stuff. They also do, they're also on Instagram. You know, don't be afraid to go and check out their Instagram, their YouTube, or their Etsy shops, because I got some great things here. I am excited about getting started decorating for Christmas. Like I was saying, I don't get to go back home this year because it's too expensive and it's still, I, although I'm we're all vaccinated and whatnot. It's we're still a little bit oh, is it safe yet. And also the price is crazy at the moment, which fair enough. They haven't been flying out there for a while. So I just um gonna go big this year. I'm gonna go big. And uh I'm excited about it and I appreciate you guys stopping by watching my videos. Thank you so much. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, Christine and Michelle, and Michael Todd, and Merle, and Julie, for all the wonderful things that I've purchased from you. I appreciate it, and thanks for sending them, and I can't wait to get started decorating. All right, guys, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye!